Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at a CPA exam questions that was sent to me by a CPA candidate. This individual wanted me to go over this question, go over the solution, explain it in detail. So I took this opportunity to make it a learning moment. And the reason I wanted to do so because I believe this question asks you about basics. It looks very intimidating, but you need to know your basic adjustments. And the reason I want to show you this is because the CPA exam itself tests you on the basic concept. Yes, you need to learn everything, but as long as you know the basics, you should be fine. And this is what I do as farhatlectures.com. I teach you the basics. And this is, this is the difference between what I do and a CPA review course. I teach you the basics and you will be fine once you have the basics. So the question reads, what was the total amount of insurance premium paid in year two? So we are giving um, under East Company accounting system, all insurance premium paid are debited to prepaid insurance. For interim financial reports, East makes monthly estimated charges to insurance expense with credit to prepaid. That's fine. So what are we saying? Here's, here's what we are saying. We have a prepaid account, PP for prepaid, and everything is debited to prepaid initially. Then once we expense it, we take it out of prepaid and we expense it to insurance expense. This is what we are told. It goes from prepaid to insurance expense. Additional information for the year ended December 31st year to Daddy, assess follow. Can you do that with those numbers? Okay. Or those numbers. Yes, I will change. Sorry, I'm just going to change the color. Okay, is this good? Okay, so the the prepaid insurance at December 31st year one is 105,000. My son is in my <laughs> is in my lab, so yeah, yeah. okay, 105. Oh, yeah. And we are giving charges to insurance expense during year two is 437,500. So we transferred to insurance expense 437. 500 and the prepaid at year end is December 31st 122 500 and the ending is 122 500 so this is what we are giving here and we are being asked what is the insurance premium paid how much how much insurance premium did we pay okay so simply put what we are looking for is this we started with 105 this is the beginning balance we added something to insurance. We, we added to insurance something. We don't know that amount, and this is what we are being asked. Then we subtracted, we subtracted 437,500, and we end up with 122,500. So this is basically reading the T account. Okay, we have a beginning balance that was giving. This was the beginning balance. This is the ending balance. And this is what was credited, what was credited out of prepaid. So all what we're looking for is, can we find this number in this box here? So how do we do this? Basically, now it's a math formula. 105 plus X, which is, we don't know what X is, minus 437,500 will give us the ending balance of 122,500. We started with this much. We ended up with this much. We added some prepaid, we transferred out of prepaid to expense, 437500 Therefore, if we solve the formula, let's go ahead and get the calculator and solve this formula. So if we take 105. Daddy, can I do the, can I press the numbers? It's okay, Daddy, you could use the other calculator. 105 minus 437, 437500 That's just going to give us minus... 3 um, minus, let me get the number again, minus 332,500 minus 332,500 plus x equal to 122,500. Simply put, once we find x, we'll take x, we'll take 332,500 plus 122,500, and that's going to give us 0, 0, 0. One five five four hundred and fifty five. Therefore, the prepaid that we purchased is four hundred and fifty five. Simply put, this question. I mean, I, I teach this concept in accounting one hundred and one. Okay, 
And what does that mean? It means this, you could see this questions on the CPA exam, on the actual exam, and it's coming from your financial accounting. And most of the questions are basics. So that's why I can teach you the basics so you can succeed on the exam. This is what I would do on, this is what I would do for you. Before I end, I would like to remind you about farhatlectures.com. If you are studying for your CPA exam, check me out and I will be able to help you add knowledge, add points to your exam so you can succeed, study hard, stay safe, of course.